I used to lead a very adventurous life. I was a full-time mountaineer, but everything changed after my accident. I'm hemiplegic. That means my right side is paralysed. I have to use my left side for everything now. I was climbing an amazing sea stack called the Totem Pole and a big rock fell on my head. A paramedic roped down to me and thought he was recovering a body judging by the amount of blood on the ledge. I was incredibly lucky to survive. The surgeon worked for five hours picking shards of bone and lichen out of my head. I had a massive brain injury. I've had to adapt almost every aspect of my life. Things I took for granted, I've had to relearn. Talking, for instance. I couldn't talk for five months, but it, it really took me a lot longer than that to, to, be flu to be as fluent as I am now. But it was like I was a, a little baby again. Everything has changed. The way I talk, the way I walk. I'm still the same person inside. I'm, I was an adventurer before my accident and, I, and I'm still I'm an adventurer now. It's been 14 years since my accident and every day I've, I've spent trying to get strong enough to get back to the Himalayas. Carol Hurst, a friend of mine who has arthritis, came up with the idea of riding our trikes across Tibet and through the Himalayas, a distance of just over 1,100 kilometres. I thought it sounded like a great adventure and the perfect opportunity to attempt a ride to Mount Everest. Carol was game and so a plan was hatched. It's absolutely outrageous hanging out in Lhasa. The, the Jokang temples, it's like a mecca for Buddhists. It's a place of pilgrimage, I guess. We feel very welcomed and, and accepted by the pilgrims because I think that they see that we're on a kind of pilgrimage too. After a few days spent in Lhasa, stocking up on supplies, acclimatizing and sightseeing, I can't ride a, a sit-up-and-beg bike, you know, a normal bike. So my trike's been specially made so that I can steer, brake and shift gear all with my left hand. My left leg does pretty much all the work and my right leg is, is just going along for the ride, really. Journeying along the road like, like this is really, is really fantastic because it means that we can connect with the landscape and the people a lot more readily than if we were looking out of a bus window. It was with mixed emotions that I pedalled into Kathmandu. On the one hand, I was loath to leave the Himalaya. It had been such a wondrous journey, like a homecoming back to the mountains. On the other, I was desperate to see my family. I miss my kids intensely. It was time to go home. 